Good morning, everybody. I am getting kind of started early. I got, oh, actually I went to bed kind of early last night. So I just thought this was really pretty. I wanted to show you guys this. It is so beautiful out here in the morning. Right before the sun comes up and you see the water. All those birds this morning. It's actually not too bad out here. I'll see you guys in a little while. Hello everybody. So I am going to be doing my poaching video and everything for my school stuff that I have to be doing. Um, of course I am dressed in my ensemble. And everything so and I'm glad you guys can kind of see what I'm doing and all this so first we're gonna like chop up onions stuff like that all right so first I'm going to make our mirepoix I couldn't find celery at my stuff but the only carrots I found was this so that's gonna have to do and it's already cut up but they do want me to use a yellow onion this time around to make my poaching liquid. Now I'm preparing my poaching liquid first. So we're doing that first. So first we're gonna cut this onion in half. Let me see if I can get you to sit down a little bit. So I'm going to use only half the onion. I use gloves because I don't like smelling like um, onion, of course. So, what you do is cut off a little bit of this end and cut off a little bit of the root. I'm going to keep the root pretty much intact just so that it's easier to dice stuff. And then you take off the first layer. First layer off here. Trash bag right here, so I'm throwing it away. All the stuff on it. Okay. So I got the first layer done. Any excess stuff off of here. Okay. So I'm going to cut it once. Be careful when you do this. I cut it about three fourths of the way. You do it twice. So one's here, one here. Be very careful, make sure your fingers are out of the way. I always want to cut down in an angle. The stuff's moving. So now we're just gonna do this, slice it this way. A cup or so of onion. And then we're going to cut it this way. This is how we dice an onion. One more time. Okay, so we're making a thing called court bouillon, which is a poaching liquid I will use to um, poach my uh, chicken in, my chicken thighs. So now we're in the process of doing that. So we have, we have onion, carrots, couldn't find celery, so, and um, I was supposed to do it with wine, but I got white grape juice instead because I couldn't find wine. And then of course I couldn't find lemons, so I got lemon juice and of course we got water. Here in South Dakota, we have a water problem, so everything's bottled water here. 
because we can't drink anything out of the tap. So let's go ahead and get this into our stock pot and we'll go from there. Okay, so I have my stock pot, which is my ninja pot. It's the biggest one I got, so I'm gonna do it in this because it's gonna be a lot easier to do it in. Um, right here is a measuring thing right here and it says we have cups on this side and we have um, liters on this side so four cups is one quart of liquid that we need so we need one quart of water and one quart of white grape juice so i'm just going to add the liquid in so first i'm going to add the water in since i already have my measuring cup in here so we need one quart of water and one quart of wine or i'm doing white grape juice so it's all i could find i mean with the coronavirus going on right now that's all i could find <clears throat> i'm doing this first so uh my liquid is actually perfect instead of putting stuff in there and then putting like then i'm gonna have to guesstimate that stuff and i don't have to do that open this. Alright, so we need, a, we need a quart of wine, or uh, me, I'm doing white grape juice. So we're going to add four cups of white grape juice to that. We have eight cups of liquid. We have the water and the white grape juice. Now we're going to add lemon. So Lemon juice. So I'm gonna do about an eighth of a cup, maybe less, just to add some lemon into here. Just a guesstimate. I don't have. They didn't have lemons at my store because the coronavirus is going on right now. Then I'm gonna add the onions that we just cut, which is about a cup. Of onion. Cup. And then I'm going to put a cup of carrots in there. Which all I could find were these, so they will have to do. But I can use them for a lot of things, so. I'm gonna put about a handful or two. This should be really good. Now I couldn't find like dry stuff, so I got Italian seasoning to season my stuff. So if this goes off, I need salt. So we're gonna do salt. Italian seasoning in there. I couldn't find any of the dried stuff, so I am just using Great Value Italian seasoning just to put some flavor into my pork bouillon. Probably should have had this open. That's okay. Alright. So I'm just going to put a few shakes in here. Let's just do that. Now I have to put this on simmer. This has to simmer for about 20 minutes to get that liquid good and seasoned. All right, so we have the uh, water, I've got the white grape juice in there, the lemon juice, carrots, onion, and the salt and the Italian seasoning. Put it in my Ninja and I'm gonna put it on saute on high just to get it to boiling. So as soon as that starts boiling, I'll come back and let you know. It's gonna about it's gonna simmer for about 20 minutes, and then we're gonna drain it, and then we're gonna poach our um, yeah, we're gonna poach our meat into this. So I will be back. In 20 minutes, this has been um, simmering for 20 minutes. This is what it looks like now. 
Now I don't have a strainer because we're supposed to put it through a strainer, so I did coffee filters instead. So a little life hack. And I'm gonna strain it through there so I can get the liquid into the bottom. Strain out until all the liquid's in the bottom, and then I'm going to poach my chicken. All right, now we have our port bouillon. It, it, it did drain all the way, and you see as like, see, it is clear. There's nothing else in it but the broth now. Okay, so after I drained the court bouillon and put it in there, I put it in a pan and I heated it up to 170 degrees. So it'd be, it'd be in a range from about 165 to about 180, or what about 185 to poach a, a poach a protein. This is what I have so far. I deboned my thighs and I put them in the liquid and I was gonna wait a few minutes and then check the temperature, which should be at 165, to see if it's done, and then I take it out. Now I'm going to be doing steamed pan vegetables. So first, we have a pot. I have my pan, and my water, my broccoli. So we're going to put about a half inch of water in here. It's about a half an inch. All right. Now we're gonna turn this on and bring it to a boil. Boil. So what we wanna do now, put in our broccoli. We're gonna cover it. And we're gonna let it pan steam until it's tender. So it's been about five minutes. And I'm taking them out because I like them pretty, not too, like them pretty, you know, good. <laughs> so now, after I take this broccoli up, we're gonna let the water reduce to about half. All right, here's the broccoli. We're gonna reduce this for about two ounces. And then we'll add the butter. The butter back in, now we're just gonna toss the broccoli in it. And serve. Now I'm gonna start my beer blanc. Okay, I take my all stuff off. I was hot. <laughs> my house is really hot. All right, so this is a beer blanc is a an emulsion of an acidic liquid with butter, and we're gonna put it over chicken and our vegetables and the rice that I made. So let's go through the steps. So first we're gonna add the vinegar. white grape juice and they said shallots but it didn't want any in this one so that's what we got so far and we're gonna bring it to a simmer and reduce it to an ounce. Now that it's at a simmer let it simmer down to an ounce and then we're gonna start adding our butter slowly. 